How to manage suprapubic catheter blockage. Have you ever wondered what to do if a suprapubic catheter gets blocked? This situation can be uncomfortable and concerning, so let's break down how to manage it effectively. A suprapubic catheter is a tube placed through the lower abdomen into the bladder to help drain urine. It is often used when traditional urethral catheterization is not an option or for long-term bladder drainage. When this catheter becomes blocked, it can lead to bladder pain, distension, and even increase the risk of infection. Therefore, knowing how to handle a blockage is essential. First, if you notice that urine is not draining, or if you experience bladder pain or leakage around the catheter site, it is important to act quickly. The first step is to try flushing the catheter gently with sterile saline. This can help clear any obstruction caused by mucus, blood clots, or debris. Flushing can sometimes restore the flow without needing to replace the catheter. If flushing does not work, you may need to change the catheter. Before doing this, ensure that the bladder is adequately full. You can achieve this by clamping the catheter for a short time or instilling about 300 milliliters of sterile saline into the bladder. This fullness helps the new catheter pass more easily and reduces trauma during insertion. When changing the catheter, it is best to use the same size catheter as before to prevent complications. Applying sterile gel as lubrication can make insertion smoother. It is important to perform this procedure promptly and carefully to avoid discomfort or damage to the tract. If the catheter has fallen out and cannot be easily reinserted, or if you experience frequent blockages, seek medical advice immediately. Further evaluation may be necessary. Sometimes, blockages can be caused by encrustations or bladder stones. In such cases, imaging studies like ultrasound or x-rays may be needed, along with specialized treatment. Avoid attempting to forcibly rupture the catheter balloon or using chemical agents to clear the blockage, as these actions can cause injury to the bladder or lead to catheter fragmentation. If conservative measures do not work or if complications arise, consulting a urologist is recommended. They can perform advanced procedures to relieving the blockage or safely replace the catheter. To help prevent blockages in the first place, maintaining good catheter care is key. This includes drinking plenty of fluids to keep urine dilute, regularly flushing the catheter as advised by your healthcare provider, and monitoring for any signs of infection or damage to the catheter. Managing a blocked suprapubic catheter involves gentle flushing, timely catheter changes with proper technique, ensuring bladder fullness before replacement, and seeking specialist help if problems persist. By following these guidelines, you can effectively manage a suprapubic catheter blockage and maintain your comfort and health.